My left is uh, Dr. Rabiu Rupai, who is the vice presidential candidate of our party. I'm the presidential candidate. Thank you. I'm the presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, which is a new political party, African Action for AAC. And uh, we decided that uh, before we can go through party to Nigeria, we must come home first and meet with our people. We must meet with our leaders and our traditional rulers to get your blessing, number one, and to help us mobilize all of our people by informing them that their son is going to Abuja to do justice to what all of us have been fighting for, for justice to spread everywhere, but most importantly, importantly to the Niger Delta region, our area. I must confess that even though I am 15 kilometers from here, I have never been to this place before. Yes, the reason is that it is easier to go to Lagos than to come to Arubo because of the transportation difficulty. And we saw it today that a journey that should have lasted only 15 or 20 minutes from Kiribo lasted almost an hour. We had to take a boat between Agadagba and uh, this should not have happened at all. For a region that is the biggest or the largest producer of uh, what we know as the golden era in Nigeria. So, without dragging this order, it is also in our view that as young people, it is the time of our generation for there to be a generational change in this country. A generation that has a dream for a better future. Not only for young people, but for all people. are now prepared to think on the mantle of leadership. I know that the next thing somebody will tell you is that an Ijeoma man has been president before. Well, that may be true, but there has not been a young Ijeoma man like myself who is about to become the president of Nigeria. And that is very important. Uh, and also, they might have told you that an Ijeoma man has done it before. You have lost your chance. No. Our chance has not been redeemed until the proper development we deserve and we brought to everybody that is living in this part of the world. And they have to do with ensuring that we have security for our people. That to have infrastructure. I'm making a promise today that as soon as I become the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I will give a contract transparently that Agadagba is linked to this place by a bridge. That one is composed for us. And that the next time we come here, even though this is my home, we are going to drive directly to the palace in a vehicle instead of having to take a boat. I am not against the boat. I love water. We must preserve our water and we must make sure that they are clean and not polluted. But there is nothing wrong with the bridge linking Agadagba with the mainland here. And I know that these promises have been made in this palace to you several times. But the reason why my own is different is that there is nothing that I have ever said before as a young person that I did not implement. And they may not have met you before, but I know that probably I have a little reputation that you must have heard about before. Uh, one of uh, uh, well, several of uh, the individuals of this place went to the University of Lagos with me when I was a student union leader. And as a lawyer yourself, as I've been to, you probably have heard about Sahara Reporters uh, before, which I published for over 12 years before I started running for office. So I know you don't have time, uh, but I want to thank you. This is very important for giving us the opportunity to appear before you today, taking our time to see us. We have to say to you that uh, because we look young, uh, sometimes we have been disrespected, yes, in this country, uh, by traditional institutions. They said, you know, there are young people. But as we go and wait for other candidates at the airport, they wait for us to see them. And when we come and see them, they don't even see us. But you have shown to us that you believe in the future. 
and that future is going to happen to this your palace very soon, starting from next year. And we have come to see you that the promise of a better future, of a better Nigeria is coming. But we know that it cannot be delivered by people who have done it before, who are disappointed and who are recycling themselves. So, because we know that an attempt to be made for other candidates to come and lie again in your palace. If they come, anybody has come before and said they would do bridge for you and they didn't do it, carry them to go and meet a bit to swear in front of the book that they will deliver on their promise. They will see that they will run away. Because these are a bunch of liars who have lied to our people. And that is the reason why even though we are the biggest producer of wealth in this country, we are the poorest people on the continent of Africa, if not the world. He was too small, too young. He made it as a democratic chairman. He, he, he made it as student union president. Now he's coming to presidential level. I know Nigeria will say he's too small. If he's too small, too small, where they talk that time in the University of Lagos, where he takes up seats, this man may show them something else. It is time for everybody in our land to sit up. And I'm very, very serious saying it. I'm putting myself on record, young and old, those of you who are here, that will sit up and take our destinies into our hands. And we should send our best to represent us. I am not going to represent Ijo as the president of Nigeria, but I'm taking the spirit of justice of Ijo land and this kingdom to represent us in Abuja, so that justice can reign in this land, because without justice, there can never be peace. And this justice has to be economic first and foremost. Anybody who is telling you that restructuring will solve our problem is deceiving you. They have been restructuring Nigeria forever, but they are only restructuring it in the pocket of a few. The real restructuring we need is economic restructuring. The people who own the resources must be the one who are swallowing in wealth and not poverty. That is the restructuring we want first and foremost. It's complete control of our resources. And that happens not only to the John land, it also happens to the people in Zamfara land where there's gold, right? But if you have gold and you don't drill your gold, you don't have assets, it's not the problem of the person who is exploring his own resources. But we are also not the one exploring our own resources, we are just being exploited by outsiders. This conversation will be the conversation that will be properly discussed when we have the right representative at the center. A honest, young, intellectual, explicit, focused person who happened to be your son. That is why I decided to come all the way to see you, my brothers and sisters, our fathers and mothers in this kingdom today. And to seek your blessing and support that when they come with 1,000 Naira for you to vote for APC, and PDP. You should ask them what have they done for you for 16 years with regards to PDP. This is the way they met your land, is the way they left it. When APC came with their fake change promise, what did they leave me with? Chicken change. This is the way they met your land, this is the way they have left it. But we are promising that the time for real revolutionary change is coming. When Ijo man will not be satisfied anymore with being the security man who is uh, protecting pipelines but he becomes the owner of the oil companies that are exploring oil in their own land. That is the future. <laughs>